everybody knows it, everybody knows it. The road less travel is hard to walk. Everybody knows it, everybody knows. It takes a soldier who knows his orders to walk the walk I'm supposed to.
Well, good morning. Good morning, parents and students. Uh, my name is Glenn Dibley. I'm the Intermediate School Principal here at Legacy Christian Academy. Uh, first of all and foremost, I want to thank Mrs. Alice for putting that video together for our students. Would you please uh, thank her? It's good to look back on, on the year that was. Uh, today is an exciting day. Um, it's exciting for many reasons. There's going to be a number of awards uh, given out this morning. Uh, it's also exciting for what today represents. Uh, the, the end of another school year, summer being just around the corner. Uh, we look back over this year and we're very, very thankful. Now let's bow our heads and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you have created. Um, God, we thank you for, we're thankful for your faithfulness. God, we thank you for your great love towards us. Uh, we thank you for your mercies which are new every day. God, we thank you for Legacy Christian Academy, that it's your school. Uh, it's a place you've provided for us to learn uh, truth, and we are so thankful for that. Um, God, we thank you for this day and what it represents. Uh, and we just want to honor those who've worked hard among us. And uh, God, we thank you for what you've done through Jesus Christ. And we pray this in his name. Amen. At Legacy Christian Academy, we offer a college prep education, uh, balanced in academics, athletics, and fine arts within a Christian community to equip strong leaders with biblical convictions for tomorrow. In keeping with our mission, we are honoring the students in these areas today. In the course of a week, a teacher teaches any one class four times in a week. That means that the teacher teaches 36 lessons to that class in a quarter. That means 144 lessons to that class in a year. All teachers teach two different subjects, resulting in 288 lessons that they have to prepare for. Additionally, they have a total of five different classes, which results in 720 lessons over the course of a year, or a total of 15,000 minutes in front of your child and 20 of their closest friends. This does not include chapel every week, nor does it include Eagle Club, Eagle elective, study halls, lunch duty, flex time, tutoring, grading papers, fac faculty meetings, or parent meetings. These teachers bring their best every day. Not only are they conveying important truth in their content area, they are incorporating the most important truth, the truth of Jesus Christ, that there is no other name under heaven by which we can be saved. I work with these teachers every day, and while they'll be the first to tell you they are far from perfect, they do model what it means to be a Christ follower, and I know that above anything else, their desire is that you would see Christ in them. Students, if you have gained any new knowledge, if you have had your eyes open to truth, if you have been inspired to learn new concepts, if you have learned any life lessons, if you have grown closer to Jesus Christ because of an interaction with a teacher, would you please stand and join with me in thanking them? Let's stand and thank them. Thank you. Teachers, we appreciate you. I appreciate you. In each subject area, the teachers have selected the top two students based on their performance through, throughout the entire year. The names will be called out in alphabetical order, not necessarily in order of merit. We also have a Colossians 317 award. Colossians 317 states, and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This award is for the student who has worked diligently all year, doing their best on every task, completing their schoolwork as though they were doing it for God, completing their work with a thankful heart and being appreciative of the opportunity to learn. This student may be at the top of the class or they may be in the middle of the pack, but whatever they did, they did to the best of their ability. These students will be receiving a leather-bound Bible for their efforts this morning. At this point, I would like to ask Mrs. Housley and Mrs. Martin to come forward along with the following students. Um, seventh grade, when you're asked to come up on stage, you can come up here. Eighth grade, you can come up here. So the following students, please come forward. Hallie Hinton, Megan Campy, Thatcher Dunlap, Lauren Bingham, Emmeline Crumley, Riley Ball, Alexandra Liberis, Grace Chandler, Mitchell Smith, Natasha Aravello, Sophie Perry, Ryan Thompson.
Good morning, I'm Mrs. Martin and I've had the honor of teaching seventh grade English along with Mrs. Housley who also teaches all of the eighth grade English classes. The first award for seventh grade English goes to Emmeline Crumley. Emmeline is the kind of student every teacher dreams of, smart but humble, hardworking but kind. She is soaked in every piece of knowledge I've hoped to instill and is still hungry for more. She has truly been a joy to teach and I cannot wait to see what the Lord does through this beautiful young woman. First Colossians 317 award for seventh grade English goes to Mitchell Smith. In seventh grade, we introduced a pretty intense grammar curriculum this year and squeezed in almost two years into one. Um, it's been a challenge for everyone and many students have gotten discouraged, but not Mitchell. He was always up for the challenge and came to me constantly asking how he could get more practice and how he could do better. I've never had a student more eager to learn and improve himself. Thanks for a fun year, Mitchell. Our next seventh grade English award goes to Hallie Hinton. <laughs> Hallie, you came to Legacy this year as a new student and had no trouble jumping right in. You are diligent, responsible, and are not afraid of a challenge. Hallie, you look at situations with a problem solver's perspective, anticipating what needs to be done without being told. You also love to learn. All of these traits make you an exceptional student and a delightful addition to our legacy seventh grade class. Our next Colossians Award for English goes to Natasha Aravalo. <laughs> Natasha? You seek excellence. When confronted with a challenge, you push yourself until you fully understand and you always want to improve. You ask great questions and jump into discussions even if you aren't sure if you're correct. You work without grumbling or complaining and most of all you tackle every lesson as though it is an opportunity from God for you to grow. Would Grace Chandler and Lauren Bingham step forward? Okay. <laughs> this year we completed the PSIA spelling competition. These two very bright young ladies worked hard learning over 900 words and did an excellent job representing themselves and legacy. They've already received their certificates and we want to gra congratulate them for their efforts. And now the awards for eighth grade English. The first award goes to Riley Ball. <laughs> Riley, this year something has clicked with you. You've always had the gifts and the potential, but this year you have really committed yourself to excellence in everything. You've become a leader in the classroom, you offer insightful comments, ask helpful questions, and put thought and effort into every task. You've also become a beautiful writer. More than anything, Riley, I've enjoyed having your bright, contagious smile in class. If you continue as you did this year, you will set the bar high for your classmates in high school. Congratulations. Thank you. The second eighth grade English award goes to Megan Campy. Yeah. 
Megan, you are a leader in the classroom. You jump into novel discussions even if you're unsure of the right answer. And during group work, you always encourage others. You think critically, looking between and beyond the lines. Most of all, you have a positive attitude which is contagious. You are a great addition to Legacy's eighth grade class. Our Colossians Award for eighth grade English goes to Sophie Perry. <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> Sophie, this year you have become my quiet warrior. You come in ready to work every day with a positive attitude. I'm not sure you've always loved English, but this year I think that has changed. I've loved how you occasionally come to me before and after class and offer a comment that shows me how engaged you've been in the reading. You've given 100% and it shows in your critical thinking and in your work. Keep it up, Sophie. Good job. The next set of awards are for 8th grade Honors English. Our first recipient is Thatcher Dunlap. In sixth grade, Thatcher, it was clear that you were gifted in English as well as other subjects. Of course, I've seen the same giftedness this year, but more than that, I've seen you mature in a way, the way you approach learning. You're a critical reader, a thoughtful writer, inquisitive, and always respectful. Having you again in eighth grade has been a great delight. Our next Honors English Award goes to Alexandra Liberis. <laughs> Alexandra, you are gentle and humble. You are unwavering. Even if the entire world erupted in chaos around you, Alexandra, you would still remain calm and steady. You're like an anchor, steadfast in academics and athletics, steadfast in your friendships, and most of all, steadfast in your faith. I think you're successful in all areas of your life because you know who you are in the Lord. What a joyful thing to witness in such a young lady. You. And the Colossians Award for Eighth Grade Honors English goes to Ryan Thompson. They weren't taller than me before this year. They are now taller than me. Okay. Ryan, you work hard because you want to honor the Lord. You don't count points or seek glory. Many times when you do well, nobody else knows. God will use your intelligence and your work ethic, but I'm excited to see great things he does through you, Ryan, specifically because you have humility. Your work, you work with all your heart, always working for the Lord and not for man. Thank you, students. Would Mrs. Crutchman and Mr. Harms come to the stage along with the following students? Lauren Fraley, Emmeline Crumley, Sarah Ann Lee, Haley Dickerson, Robbie Gay, Avery Thomas and Joshua Phillips, Alexandra Liberis, Mitchell Seifert, and Avery Benavides. Hello, uh, I'm Mr. Harms. And I have had the honor of teaching 8th grade history, along with Miss Kay, uh, who also taught 7th and 8th grade history. For my first award for 8th grade history, it goes to Robbie Gay. I'm not going to hug you. <laughs> uh, Robbie really impressed me this year. 
His diligent work and excellent attitude set him above his peers. He showed maturity and kindness when helping our new Haitian brother Jonathan uh, transition to an English classroom. He consistently shows humility and class, and I'm pleased to award him with this distinguished honor in history for having the highest grade out of all my students. Way to go. The Colossians 317 award goes to Joshua Phillips. Uh, quick story, quick story about Josh that will illustrate who he is in my classroom. Laps for Legacy this year was a little crazy. Uh, as the boys were running around wild in every direction, I watched Josh, and only Josh, basically run from cone to cone. He carefully followed all of the guidelines and never broke stride. <laughs> he really worked out there. He worked on the track that day and he's a worker in my classroom. He's a solid young man who's impacted me this year and I'm grateful for <laughs> I'm grateful for his quiet excellence. My first award for eighth grade history goes to Haley Dickerson. <laughs> Haley is a student that I will always find doing the right thing at the right time. She's focused and hardworking, fully setting her mind to the efforts towards whatever task is before her. This dedication has paid off, earning her consistently high marks and my gratitude. The Colossians 317 Award for 8th Grade History uh, goes to Avery Thomas. <laughs> I've had the blessing of teaching sweet Avery over the last two years and seeing her continually stretch herself. She makes sure that she has done what she needs to do and learns what she needs to know. If I ask for three to four sentences for a short essay answer, she will go the extra mile and give me six to eight in order to fully develop her knowledge. She is very thorough every time. In eighth grade honors history, the first award goes to Alexandra Liberis. Alexandra is one of the most diligent and motivated student, students that I have ever had the pleasure to teach. She not only meets expectations, she consistently exceeds them. She's always respectful, always obedient, always thoughtful. The most impressive thing about Alexandra's academic success, though, is the humility, which you already heard, that she carries herself with. She's a positive role model for other students as she wraps her academic excellence with respect for authority and genuine humility. The second eighth grade honors history award goes to Mitchell Seifert. Mitchell maintains a strong work ethic and has a positive attitude in every aspect of the classroom. I appreciate Mitchell's sincere desire for academic growth. He readily embraces learning and does not settle for anything less than excellence. He consistently gives the very best day in and day out. Thank you, Mitchell. <laughs> The Colossians 317 Award goes to Avery Benavides in my honors class. I have had the pleasure of watching Avery grow and develop into a wonderful young lady over the last two years, building godly character as she goes. Whenever she has come up against any academic obstacle, she's never shied away. She leans, leans into it and works diligently. I know that there have been many nights in her pursuit of excellence that she has worked harder and stayed up later than many of her peers. She doesn't do it for the acknowledgement of others, but because she truly desires to do her best. Avery truly honors the Lord with the gifts and talents that he has given her. The 
The first award for seventh grade history goes to Lauren Fraley. <laughs> All year long, Lauren has given her best in history. She's always been attentive, asking questions for clarification, thoroughly completing assignments, which, without fail, result in high A's. Whenever her work is before me, there's never a question as to whether it's going to be excellent. The next seventh grade history award goes to Emmeline Crumley. Emmeline is the type of student who does not settle for partial effort or partial answers. She wants her work to be right and will take the time to make sure that it is. She pushes herself so that her work is even better than what is expected. Her attitude towards learning will continue to position her for academic excellence. Yeah. The Colossians 317 History Award goes to Sarah Ann Lee. <laughs> Sarah Ann is the student that you will always, again, find doing the right thing at the right time. She's diligent and careful, giving focused attention to detail in her work. Sarah Ann is dedicated to learning in a quiet, excellent way that continually brings excellence and glory to her maker. Would Mrs. Guthman and Mr. Martin come to the stage along with the following students? Max Sanderlin, Lauren Fraley, Timothy Taylor, Emma Whaley, Riley Ball, Hannah Harmon, Thatcher Dunlap, Mitchell Seifert, Elizabeth Housley. Morning. I'm Mr. Martin, and I've had the honor of teaching eighth grade science along with Ms. Guthman, who's also taught seventh and eighth grade science. The first eighth grade award, uh, eighth grade science award, goes to Emma Whaley. From the first time I met Emma, I was impressed by her thoughtfulness and intentionality. She has spent the entire year doing nothing but in reinforcing my first impression. She consistently seeks strong understanding in whatever topic is being discussed, whether it be science or otherwise. The second award uh, for science, eighth grade science goes to Riley Ball. Riley has really blown, uh, blown me away this year. She has sought excellence every single class period. She has brought, uh, she's been faithful in the little things, whether it be vocab cards or study guides, the smallest little uh, 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 details in class she's always faithful with. Um, and this is why she has truly earned this award. <laughs> the Colossians 317 award goes to Hannah Harmon. Honestly, I can't imagine giving this award to anybody else. Um, Hannah has gone through so much this year with her knees and has put her behind time and time and time again. Um, I know that whenever I get a little bit behind, I get really flustered and I immediately try to make excuses and try to find reasons why I can't get things done. I have not heard one excuse come out of her mouth towards me. I have not heard one word of grumbling, not one word of complaining all year long, no matter how far behind I saw her get. She just said, okay, what's next? Let me do it. What's next? Let me do it. For that reason, I think that she's truly earned the Colossians 317 award. In honor of science, the first award goes to Thatcher Dunlap. <laughs> so funny. 
Uh, it is always amazing to watch our students grow in short in a short two years. I have watched Thatcher emerge into a determined young man who sees value in simple errors. Um, as a result, he has developed a sharp eye for detail. Dry wit, servant-hearted, courteous. He picks up slack like you would expect of adults. He has simply been a pleasure, and he makes great cookies. <laughs> Congratulations. The second award for Honor Science goes to Mitchell Seifert. Cool kids can be cool for either all of the right reasons or for all of the wrong reasons. Mitchell is a really cool kid for all of the right reasons. He is a quiet leader, he's pleasant, he's a good friend to his buddies. He has absolutely done an excellent job in a class that has stayed ahead of pace. Mitchell is among the sharpest in his grade and he has a very bright future. And the Colossians 317 award goes to Elizabeth Housley. <laughs> Have you ever had the blessing of having someone meet your needs before you ask? Elizabeth is disciplined, unassuming, encouraging, very mature, and takes responsibility to juggle a very strenuous dance schedule along with her academics. She lives out the meaning of her name, which is to honor God, and in turn, bless those around her. Love you, Elizabeth. For seventh grade science, the first award goes to Mr. Max Sanderlin. I get to have him again, I hope. Quick-witted, hungry learner, Problem solver, mechanically inclined, collaborator, works well with others, able to change course are all accurate descriptions of Max Sanderlin. In terms we use for all STEM assignments, he is a positive return on investment and has a bright future in the field of science and math. Congratulations. Oh. The next award for seventh grade science goes to Miss Lauren Fraley. Two years ago, I noticed that Lauren was quite gifted in the robotics after school program. I was excited to teach her this year and confirmed that this young lady has abilities beyond her years. She approaches a solution to a problem naturally and effortlessly. The Lord certainly engineered a creative mind with this young lady. Congratulations. And the Colossians 317 award goes to Mr. Timothy Taylor. So I affectionately nicknamed Timothy the anchor because of his positive effect on those around him. He is on task, he's polite, he's content, he tries hard, and he's grounded. And I can put him between anybody in class and he will make them do better on both sides of him and in front and behind him. He anchors those around him. Timothy is from the Greek name Timaeo to honor and Theos, God. And Timothy Taylor lives up to his name of honoring God because, not because of perfection, but because of obedience. He is a blessing. Thank you, students. Would Mrs. Beck please join Mr. Martin on the stage along with the following students. Peter Cooper, Robbie Gay, Rachel Edwards, Sarah Ann Lee, Haley Dickerson, Sarah Sine, Andrea Vargasi, Olivia Thomas, and Peter Guy. Oh 
I have also had the honor of teaching pre-algebra um, along with Miss Beck, uh, who has taught seventh and eighth grade math. On the seventh grade pre-algebra, uh, one of the seventh grade pre-algebra awards goes to Miss Sarah Ann Lee. Sarah Ann has been a real example to everyone around her. She has shown that hard work and consistency pay off. She combines brilliance and discipline and humility to achieve excellence. Whether she desires a Fortune 500 company or the presidency of the United States of America, <laughs> I believe she really will accomplish all she sets her mind to. The Colossians 317 award goes to Miss Andrea Vargasy. I have seen few people work as hard as Andrea. She puts her best effort in every single day and she earns every single grade that she gets. I never hear her complain, I never hear her grumble, but in humility, she just puts her nose to the grindstone and works diligently. In my opinion, she's the epitome of the Colossians 317 attitude. Congratulations. Another seventh grade distinguished um, student award goes to Peter Cooper. <laughs> Peter has a mind for math. He quickly uses his mental ability to come to answers faster than others, but has learned that showing work has its benefits as well. <laughs> he is diligent in his work and gets the job done. Thank you, Peter, for setting the bar high in pre-algebra this year. The Colossians 317 in my pre-algebra class goes to Miss Sarah Sign. Sarah is a quiet leader with diligence. She doesn't just want to learn, but she wants to know why. She is dependable with her Alex assignments each week, comes in before or after school to seek help when it is needed. Thank you, for Sarah, for desiring to do your best on all things. Our next award goes to um, our transitional algebra class, and that is Miss Rachel Edwards. Rachel has come such a long way since seventh grade. She's been diligent with her work all year. She never forgets to do her Alex. She always brings her homework to class. It's been amazing to watch you grow into a confident math student this year. You have soared in math and you're definitely ready for high school math. I'm proud of you and the great work you have accomplished this year. The Colossians 317 award in this class goes to Mr. Peter Guy. Peter, it's been a pleasure teaching you the last two years and watching your confidence in math grow by leaps and bounds. You were always diligent to work over the weekend to get ahead on your Alex and never let that slip by. You came in when you needed extra clarification to get your homework done after school or just to study more for an upcoming test or quiz. I can honestly say that you're now ready to move on to high school. In A grade, the Algebra One Award, um, one of them goes to Mr. Robbie Gay. <laughs> Robbie has really stepped up his game in math this year. He is a quiet learner, rarely asking questions, but is not afraid to ask when he does have one. He's on task while I'm teaching and gets busy to start his work right away when I'm done teaching. He is reliable, trustworthy, and determined to do his best. <laughs> Our second Algebra One award goes to Miss Haley Dickerson. I think Haley was a little hesitant, hesitant about math this year at the beginning of the year since she had not had me before. She works hard, she listens, she asks questions, she comes in after school to work, and then she checks her work, and then she checks her work with other friends. All of these things make up a great student. You have excelled in math this year and I'm very proud of you. The Colossians 317 Award in Algebra goes to Miss Olivia Thomas. <laughs> the 
Being new to our school this year, Olivia has stepped right in, not only academically, but also socially. She's a bright student who works hard and she humbles herself. She wants to make sure her work is not just finished, but it's done well. She has a bubbly personality and just makes you smile. Thank you for working hard, not letting the tough questions stump you and pressing on throughout the year. Okay, thank you students. Um, will the following students please come up to the stage? Ansley Gregg, Thatcher Dunlap, Daniel Joyner, Ethan Spessard, Sydney Lally, Joshua Phillips, Mitchell Seifert, Timothy Beers, Robbie Gay, Alexandra Liberis, and Lanny Monroe. All of these students are probably wondering why they're coming up when we just gave our math awards. But every year we compete in a competition called Math League. Um, it's not a test, it's not a test that you study for, it's an in-class test where we compete against other schools in the ACSI um, Christian School Division. And um, we're competing in the large school division, so they're small, medium, and large. And our pre-algebra students, Mr. Martins and my class together, place second in the large division of all of ACSI. <laughs> and then we had two, stu two individual students win awards, if you'll just hold your applause. Um, second place went to Miss Ansley Gregg, and then first place went to Sydney Lally, and not only was she first in the large school division, but she was also first in the region. Good job. whole our algebra students placed first in the large school division. Um, our four fourth place awards was a tie between Timothy Beers, Robbie Gay, Alexandra Liberis, and Lanny Monroe. Our third place goes to Daniel Joyner, Mitchell Seifert, and Ethan Spessard. Our second place award goes to Joshua Phillips. And our first place award, not only did he get first place in our division, but he also received first place in the region in Algebra 1, and that's Mr. Thatcher Dunlap. This is a very difficult test. When they take it, it's four tests. It's five questions. It's no calculator whatsoever. It's all paper and pencil. And when they get done, they think, there's no way, Mrs. Beck, that was just way too hard. We haven't even learned some of that stuff. And here they are, all getting awards. So good job, guys. <laughs> Would Mr. Harris, Mr. Harms, and Mrs. V please come to the stage along with the following students. Hallie Hinton, Sheldon Fraley, Olivia Thomas, Max Sandlin, Elizabeth Housley, Rachel Edwards, Lanny Monroe, Emily Pope, Austin Martinez, Daniel Joyner, and Michael Walsh. Uh, I'm Mr. Harms. I teach all the seventh grade Bible. And I'm up here with Mr. Harris, who has the honor of teaching 8th grade Bible. For 7th grade Bible, the first award goes to Hallie Hinton. So I know this is for achieving the highest grade in my Bible class, but I have to give you a quick basketball story about Hallie that will illustrate who she is uh, in my classroom as well. So our opponent was shooting free throws and I called Hallie over really quick to the bench and I gave her super quick instructions before the second free throw attempt. She had wide open eyes, you know, and the big grin on her face that she always has. Um, she listened very carefully and what happened next I'd never witnessed before in my five years of coaching. Not only did Hallie do exactly what I said, but the plan worked. Good job. Uh, Hallie is a cheerful listener and a hard worker. 
Her parents should be extremely proud of her. I am proud of her as her teacher and coach. In seventh grade Bible, the next award goes to Max Sanderlin. Max seems to be one of those secret agent hard workers. He's one of those guys who is so humble, nobody knows he's humble. He's so intelligent and so hardworking. Max is a deep thinker and a kind helper. I'm thrilled to reward him for his efforts all year. The Colossians 317 award goes to Emily Pope. If teachers had a draft, like the NFL or the NBA, I think Emily might go number one. She's got that rare combination of ability and work ethic. She goes above and beyond what is required. She knows the bare minimum of what would get her 100%, but she decides to do more. She decides to work with excellence as, <laughs> as unto the Lord. Uh, she's not doing it for anybody else. Emily also has a heart for others and a wonderful attitude every time she's in my class. Well, good morning. In the, in the eighth grade, the first award for Bible goes to my man Sheldon Fraley. Sheldon is a fine example of hard work and dedication. He consistently produces at a very high level. He has a wonderful personality and a great outlook on life. Thank you for being steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We all love you, and we're proud of you. Congratulations. The next Bible Award for eighth grade goes to Elizabeth Housley. Elizabeth is my go-to person. She is a gifted Bible student. She excels in theology and doctrine. She's committed to the study of God's word and teaching it and obeying it in her, in her life. You are the best and I am proud of you. <laughs> Colossians 3.17 goes to my man Tito Austin Martinez. Tito is the epitome of a godly man. He is humble, courteous, and a man of God. He has made a huge impact on your teachers and fellow classmates. Mark Twain said it best. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. You are a champion, and I am honored to say that I've taught you. We love you, and we thank you. All right, I'll go. That's a hard one to follow. <laughs> Good morning. I am Mrs. Villavicencio, and I have the honor to teach Spanish one. In Spanish one, the first award goes to Sheldon Freely. Ever since I've known Sheldon, he has shown great interest in languages. He not only shows interest, he does something about it. Since the beginning, Sheldon has gone above and beyond my classroom. Such interest, dedication, and hard work have earned Sheldon the Spanish One Award. Felicitaciones, Sheldon. <laughs> Uh, 
The second Spanish One Award goes to Rachel Edwards. She might be surprised about this one. Quiet, funny, humble, hard worker are words to describe Rachel. She's one of those students that can be so quiet in class, but always make sure it's getting the concepts right. Once in a while, you get from Rachel, oh, I get it. <laughs> and then you know she actually got it. I love and appreciate having Rachel in my class. Felicitaciones, Rachel. The Colossians 317 Award goes to Daniel Joyner. <laughs> Daniel's enthusiasm for Spanish is contagious. I love seeing him so excited when he makes the connection in my class with his family roots. Daniel has worked hard and diligently the entire year. He has been a blessing to have in my class. Felicitaciones, Daniel. Mr. Algren, who teaches Latin One, is currently on the senior trip, so I will be presenting the Latin Awards for him. The first award for Latin One goes to Olivia Thomas. <laughs> Olivia has one of the best attitudes of any student I've had the pleasure of teaching. She has positivity that allows her to tackle any situation and leaves her unafraid to ask questions or seek help. It's one of the keys to her success. Congratulations, Olivia. The next award for Latin One goes to Lainey Monroe. Lainey is one of those quiet ones who sees everything. After the rest of the class has exhausted itself, coming so close to the answer we need, Lainey sits up and says, it's this. Her collected manner and attitude are what makes her a strong academic who is even now using her gift to help and uplift others. Congratulations, Lainey. The Colossians 317 Award goes to Mr. Michael Walsh. Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael is truly one of a kind. He is bright, polite, energetic, and playful. He also possesses a tenacity that does not allow him to move on from a task or topic until he has mastered it. The kid is a machine. He's a beast. Michael is well on his way to being one of those diligent, crucial, everyday heroes on which this world critically relies. Congratulations, Mr. Michael. <laughs> students may be seated. Would Mrs. Mayberry please come up along with the following students? Sarah Sign, Emma Stubbs. Arnie Sliman, Riley Ball, Clay Blancid, Connor Escobedo, Natalie Johnson, Avery Benavides, Thatcher Dunlap, Bren Talton, and Ava Bickle. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Mayberry. I'm honored to teach 7th and 8th grade art. In art, the first award for 7th grade goes to Sarah Sign. I wrote down Sarah's doubly blessed with good eye for design and excellent marksmanship, but she's really triply blessed because she puts her personality into her work. You see her work and you know who Sarah is. She's employed all these gifts to create a number of exceptional pieces this year. Congratulations. Okay. 
The second award for seventh grade art goes to Emma Stubbs. Yeah. yeah. Emma managed to stand out even in a class of mostly, mostly eighth graders as a student with solid compositional skills, excellent craftsmanship, and a great work ethic. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and the Colossians 317 award for 7th grade art goes to Ani Sliman. <laughs> Ani doesn't call a lot of attention to herself, but she has a way of bringing peace to those around her and she continues to create beautiful artworks as well. Thank you for sharing your talent and your spirit with us, Ani. In eighth grade, the first award for art goes to Riley Ball. This was a tremendous, tremendous year of growth for Riley. Not only did she grow as an artist, but she was recognized by her classmates during the mural project, by judges at two separate competitions. Riley stands out as an excellent designer and a gifted fine artist. Congratulations. The next award uh, for excellence in art goes to Clay Blancett. Well, you wouldn't know it from looking at his work, but this is Clay's first year in art. He has proved himself to have a vision for great design, and he has the marksmanship skills to bring that vision to life. Congratulations, Clay. The Colossians 317 award for 8th grade art goes to Connor Escobedo. <laughs> Connor is almost always the first student to arrive and he always brings that great smile of his. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> He's creative, intuitive, and he brings a special positive attitude to our studio group. Congratulations on a job very well done. Then I'd like to give a special shout out to our competition team. This year we not only received the highest superior ratings on every piece entered in the ACSI Art Festival, but each and every student medaled in their division. And the very next day at a highly competitive private school invitational art contest, one of these artists also received the first place award for all the 8th graders in the Metroplex wide competition. Congratulations to gold medal recipients, Sarah Sign. Natalie Johnson, and Avery Benavides. Congratulations to silver medal winners, Thatcher Dunlap and Bryn Taunton. Congratulations to Ava Bickle for receiving the ACSI Bronze Medal. And congratulations to Riley Ball on a clean sweep, silver medal at the Art Festival and first place at the Private School Invitational. Congratulations, students. You can leave the stage. Yeah. All right. Would Mr. Murphy and Mrs. Clark please come forward along with the following students? Preston Cook, Jace Edgemond, Sam Clemens, Emily Pope, Natasha Aravalo, Sayers Collins, Sheldon Fraley, Laney Monroe, Emmeline Crumley, Elizabeth Housley, Jake Nixon, Faith Carpenter, Mitchell Seifert, and Chase Brown. Yeah. 
I'm Mr. Murphy and I have the honor of teaching the 7th and 8th grade band. Uh, the 7th grade band award goes to Preston Cook. Preston is an outstanding musician. Congratulations. Is presented to the highest level musician in the 7th grade. This young man has worked hard taking private lessons, making the ATSSB, which is the public school honor band, and the private school honor bands this year. Congratulations. The next second seventh grade award goes to Natasha Aravala. This side. Okay. Natasha is an outstanding woodwind student. She is a flute player and has achieved the most, um, is an outstanding music, musical achievement in woodwind section this year. Thank you very much. The, the Colossians 317 award goes to Faith Carpenter. The Colossians 317 Awards presented to a student with the determination, outstanding leadership in all aspects of band, and that sums up Faith this year. Thank you, Faith. <laughs> this year in the eighth grade band, I'd like to rec recognize uh, Jace Edgman. <laughs> The Director's Award is presented to an LCA Middle School Band student in recognition, in recognition of outstanding musical achievement. This young man has not only performed in the 8th grade band, but the high school band, and as an 8th grader made the TPSMEA All-State High School Band. Congratulations. Yeah. The second award goes to Sayers Collins. The Outstanding Musician Award is presented to an 8th grader, 8th grade student who has shown the highest level of musicianship throughout the school year. Pulling both double duty in the 8th grade and the high school band, Sayers learned uh, he marched on the marching field and performed in two different concerts. Great job, Sayers. The Colossians 317 Award is, is awarded to Mitchell Seifert. I'm rec Again, I'm recognizing a student that's pulled double duty uh, in, with outstanding leadership in all aspects of the band this year. This, the Colossians 317 Award sums up Mitchell perfectly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mrs. Clark and I teach 7th and 8th grade choral music. In the 7th grade male chorus, which is the Tone Rangers, the first award goes to Sam Clemens. <laughs> Sam is a dedicated singer. He understands the concepts of music theory and gives his best each day in class. It is with honor that Sam receives the Outstanding 7th Grade Choral Member Award. The second award goes to Sheldon Fraley. <laughs> Sheldon always goes the extra mile. He is a wonderful singer and has auditioned and been selected to the TPSMEA Middle School Honor Choir for two years in a row. He has received Division I Superior Ratings at Solon Ensemble Festival and has given of his time and talents participating in Susical the Musical this past spring. C congratulations, Sheldon, for being the choral outstanding musician. The Colossians 317 Award goes to Chase Brown. Chase is a student who works hard, is a talented singer, and has a great knowledge of music theory. He is a student that I've enjoyed having in my classroom and hope that he will continue to grow as a musician. He is kind and wants to please. Chase, you're a joy to teach. In the seventh and eighth grade female chorus, which is called the Bel Cantos, the first award goes to Emily Pope. Yeah! 
Emily has a beautiful voice and loves to sing and play the piano. She's an excellent musician and a hard worker. She has she has excelled as a member of the TPSMEA Middle School Honor Choir and also as a soloist at Solo and Ensemble Festival, receiving Division I ratings. Emily was a dedicated cast member in Susical, playing the role of one of the Berg Girls. Congratulations, Emily, on a great year and as outstanding choral music student. <laughs> The second award goes to Lainey Monroe. <laughs> Lainey is new to LCA this year. She is quiet strength. That strength has been noticed this year as she was selected to the Middle School Honor Choir. She's a dedicated singer in her section of the choir as she participated in the TPS MEA um, Solo and Ensemble Festival as well. It is an honor to select Lainey as the outstanding 8th grade choral music student for Bel Cantos. The Colossians 317 Award goes to Emmeline Crumley. <laughs> Emmeline is a joy to teach. She gives her best in class each day and is always willing to help in any way she can. She is a reflection of Christ in and out of the classroom. Additionally, the Fred Waring Award will be given to two students. Fred Waring was one of the leading choral directors of the 20th century. The, the award recognizes the talent and enthusiasm of outstanding choral members. The first award goes to Jake Nixon. <laughs> Jake is a great singer and a great section leader. He is a hard worker and is a joy to teach. He was selected to the Middle School Honor Choir, has received Division I Superior ratings for his solo at Solo and Ensemble Festival. It is with honor that Jake receives the Fred Waring Choral Music Award. <laughs> The second student to receive this award is Elizabeth Housley. <laughs> Elizabeth is a dedicated student with a very sweet voice. She gives 100% each day in class and always says thank you and have a blessed day when she leaves the classroom. Congratulations, Elizabeth, on receiving the Fred Waring Distinguished Award. Students, you may leave the stage. Would Miss Kelly and Mr. Harris please come forward along with the following students. Avery Ellis, Katie Ash, Rachel Cameron, Caroline Kellum, Elizabeth Purvis, Sophie Dryden, Avery Thomas, and Andrew Shadel. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Kelly, and I have the privilege of teaching drama. The first award for seventh grade drama goes to Avery Ellis. <laughs> Avery is what we call in the theater a triple threat. She can sing, dance, and act. I had the privilege of not only teaching her in drama this year, but also directing her in Susical. She is always enthusiastic to do whatever acting exercise or project I give her. Avery is an extremely talented and gifted actor, but mo most importantly, she is a positive leader to others in and out of the classroom. The qualities I love most about her, however, are her humble character and Christ-like attitude. Congratulations, Avery, on an outstanding year. I look forward to seeing how God uses you and your talents in the future. <laughs> the next award for seventh grade drama goes to Caroline Kellum. 
<laughs> Caroline was another standout in the drama program this year. I also had the privilege of teaching her in class and directing her in the musical. Caroline always has a smile on her face and is a leader to others. She is enthusiastic and talented not only as an actor, but as a singer as well. She too has a humble heart and a kind spirit. I know that God has great plans for her many talents. Congratulations on an exceptional year. <laughs> The award for 8th grade drama, the first one goes to Avery Thomas. <laughs> Last year Avery came to class on the first day and quietly pulled me aside to tell me she was not supposed to be in drama. <laughs> a mistake had been made on her schedule and it would take a day or two to correct it. I told her that was fine, she could sit and just observe the class, not a problem and, and that would be taken care of. Well, needless to say, Avery ended up not only staying in class last year, but taking it again this year. I will always remember Avery because she is, is an example of a young person who was able to trust in the Lord and step out of her comfort zone. She experienced something new and fun and gained a great deal of confidence along the way. This year, Avery has been a kind and caring leader to the other students. She is dependable and humble. She has developed wonderful presentation skills and has become an excellent actor. Congratulations, Avery, on your outstanding accomplishments this year. The next award for eighth grade drama goes to Katie Ash. Katie is a new student to Legacy this year, and I am so glad she's here. Katie is a gifted actor. She leads with a quiet confidence and shows Christ-like character to the other students. I've been exceptionally impressed with how she shares her talents and ideas with younger students in a very sweet and caring way. She arrives at class every day with an enthusiastic attitude and is ready to be challenged. I'm excited that Katie will continue with drama next year in the upper school. Katie will be a valuable addition to our program. Congratulations, Katie, on an outstanding year in drama. The Colossians 317 Drama Award goes to Elizabeth Purvis. Elizabeth is truly a joy to teach. She comes to class each day with a smile on her face and an enthusiastic attitude. She is a creative and talented performer who has grown by leaps and bounds this semester. Elizabeth always shows Christ-like character to her peers. Congratulations, Elizabeth, on an exceptional year in drama. <laughs> I also have the honor of teaching technology. In technology, the first award goes to Rachel Cameron. <laughs> Rachel excels in programming and keyboarding. She assisted her classmates without hesitation. I want to personally thank Rachel for being my security and keeping us all safe. If you need a security guard, right here. She's the best, I'm telling you. We all love you and care about you deeply. Congratulations, Rachel. The next award for technology goes to Sophie Dryden. Sophie is gifted in technology. She has the ability to process information quickly. She is creative with her codes and presents ideas clearly during oral presentations. Thank you for overcoming every obstacle put in front of you this year. You are truly a master of code and I am proud of you. <laughs> Colossians 317 award goes to my man Andrew Shale. <laughs> Andrew is committed to his work. He demonstrated outstanding persistence and steadfastness during his programming projects. Thank you for embracing each day with enthusiasm and never giving up. You are an inspiration to be around. We love you and we appreciate you. Congratulations.
Thank you, students. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Angela Paxton. I'm Mrs. Paxton. Uh, would the following uh, students please stand? Ava Bickle, Alexander Clark, Peter Cooper, Emmeline Crumley, Sophie Dryden, Katie Pfizer, Lauren Fraley, Josiah Gill, Brianna Johnson, Sydney Lawley. No, it's not Brianna, it's Natalie. Sorry about that. Sydney Lawley, Max Sanderlin, William Savage, Sarah Sine, Alex Smith, Emma Stubbs, Natasha Aravello, Alexandria Cabrera, Preston Cook, Taylor Flightman, Sarah Ann, Lee, Emily Pope, Jackson Todd, and Ainsley Gregg. All of these students who are now standing participated in the 2014 Duke University Talent Identification Program 7th grade talent search. Duke TIP is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving academically gifted and talented students. Duke TIP works with students, their families, and educators to identify, recognize, challenge, engage, and help students reach their highest potential. Now in its 35th year, the seventh grade talent search identifies bright seventh graders based on standardized test scores achieved while attending elementary or middle school. Candidates are invited to take the ACT or the SAT college entrance exams as seventh graders, which allows them greater insight into their academic abilities. In addition, they gain valuable benefits and have access to unique resources for gifted students. And I'd also like to note that Peter Cooper uh, was recognized by Duke Tip for outstanding performance on his SAT uh, competing with high school age students. So congratulations to Peter and all these students. Good job guys, you may be seated. And would Coach Hatcher and Coach McCollum please come to the stage and also the following students. Braden Toot, Haley Dickerson, Ben Hamilton, Kaylee Lucan, Allie Rutinus, Zane Williams, Natalie Embry, Andrew Strawn, Jordan Orlando, Zoe Montez, and Josh Phillips. I'm Coach Hatcher and it was a pleasure to coach the junior high track team this year. Uh, before I get started with my awards, I want to thank a few people. Uh, first off, parents, I really appreciate all the help uh, at the meets, just making sure everybody is where they're supposed to be. I really appreciate that. Uh, and then Coach Embry, uh, Nurse Ball, and both Mrs. and Mr. Hamilton uh, volunteered their time to help me as well and I really appreciate that. Uh, kids as well. We had, over, we had over 50 students come out for the track team this year, uh, so that's not only good for, that's good for the whole school, uh, support uh, to us coaches. Um, so thank you guys for coming out. Uh, I really appreciate that. So for the track team this year, uh, it was an amazing year. Uh, we had a lot of big uh, feats. And the highlight of our year came at the Liberty Christian uh, meet where we were competing with the biggest pr private schools in the area, uh, a little bit higher competition than we're used to. Uh, and the eighth grade girls were the champions of the whole meet. We had five school records 
and I'm going to list those. Uh, you can hold your applause to the very end. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allie Rutinus in the 200 meter dash, she ran that time in 28 seconds. Zane Williams in the mile, 5 minutes and 22 seconds. And that was also the fastest time in the whole school. 800 meter dash was also Zane Williams, 2 minutes and 24 seconds. And Tito Martinez in the 3200 meter, 12 minutes and 16 seconds. And also Tito Martinez in the mile and a half, 9 minutes and 10 seconds. Great job, guys. Now for our awards. The first, award, the first award is for the girl sprinter in the eighth grade, Brayden Toot. <laughs> Brayden had an awesome year this year. Uh, she, uh, she did multiple things. She sacrificed a whole lot uh, just to be at the meets, and I really appreciate that. Thank you, Brayden. Seventh grade girl sprinter of the year, Allie Rutinus. <laughs> Allie had a wonderful year and she works harder than anybody I know. Thank you. <laughs> Our boy sprinter of the year is Jordan Orlando. Jordan is another one of those guys that will just, he'll outrun you. I mean, he'll, he'll work, he'll work as hard as anybody and uh, he never gives us any trouble. Uh, he's just a really hard worker. Thank you. Our girl long distance runner of the year is Haley Dickerson. Haley, I'm, I'm really proud of you because I know sometimes you don't want to run two miles, uh, but you do it with a whole lot of heart and you really honor God the way you run. <laughs> Boy long distance runner of the year, Zane Williams. <laughs> Zane, I just want to tell you, to keep it up because you have a, a great career ahead of you and if you keep working hard, the sky's the limit. <laughs> Most valuable girls in the field events, Zoe Montez. <laughs> Zoe throws the discus and shot for us and I believe she won first place at just about every meet in the discus this year. Good job, Zoe. <laughs> Most valuable boys field events, Ben Hamilton. <laughs> ben really improved uh, from the start of the year to the finish uh, with his throwing in the discus. These guys don't get a lot of accolades while they're out there. They're usually off in the corner throwing. Uh, so it's, it takes a whole, whole lot of hard work with a, not a lot of raw, raw, good job. But thank you, Ben. <laughs> the next two awards are the TJ Tomney Fighting Heart Award, probably my favorite uh, award to give out. Uh, this award exemplifies somebody overcoming something, uh, whether it's going out there and asking them to do something that they're not the best at, but they don't complain and they do it as hard as they can. Uh, so the next two awards are the TJ Tomney Fighting a Heart Award and the Girls Award goes to Natalie Embry. <laughs> Natalie represents this ward to the highest ability, uh, never complains. I'll throw her out there in the shot, then I'll turn around and throw her out there in the 100 meter dash. And never complains and she does a great job. Yeah. 
The boys TJ Tomini Fighting Heart Award goes to Josh Phillips. Josh, thank you for having a servant heart and just never complaining, working as hard as you can to compete, and it's just wonderful to see how you go about your business. Thank you. Our last award is the team MVP, and the girls team MVP is Kaylee Lucan. Kaylee is a wonderful representative of our school, the way she competes and goes about her business. Um, she'll compete with honor, but she'll also beat you. So, good job, Kaylee. <laughs> the boys' team MVP is Andrew Strong. Andrew is in his first year here at Legacy. Uh, he's an extreme hard worker. Uh, just seen him, I've seen him how he works out in the weight room as an eighth grader, and he's got a very, very high ceiling in his athletic ability. And but he's got he's got a great personality as well. Uh, he's just a great kid. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Scott McCollum. I'm the uh, junior high athletic coordinator. Uh, it's my privilege to honor the junior high male and female athletes of the year with the Wings of Gold Award. This award is given to the athlete who exemplify hard work, dedication, and Christian character throughout the entire school year. Both of these athletes were key members of their team. They excelled in the classroom, with each of them being listed on the headmaster's honor roll. Their drive, determination, skill, and Christian values are very evident. We look forward to great things from each of them in high school, and it is our hope that they continue to build upon these core values and strive to be the best on the field and inside the classroom. My challenge to you is to be a positive example for your peers, teachers, coaches, and parents. We are very proud of both of you, and we thank your parents for instilling the, the characteristics that make up the true meaning of this award. The recipient of the Female Wings of Gold Award was a three-sport student athlete participating in volleyball, basketball, and track. She did all this and carried a 3.89 GPA and only missed two days of school. It is my honor to present the 2015 Junior High Female Wings of Gold Award to Kaylee Lucan. The recipient of the Male Junior High Wings of Gold Award was a two-sport student participating in basketball and track. And he did all this and carried a 3.65 GPA, only missed one day of school the entire year. It is my honor and privilege to present the 2015 Junior High Male Wings of Gold Award to Zane Williams. Thank you students, you may be seated. Would Mr. Harris and Mr. Holmes please come forward along with the following students. Natalie Embry, Riley Lillard, Alexandra Liberis, Austin Martinez, Connor Escobedo, Emmeline Crumley, Sarah Sine, Kaylee Lucan, Hannah Harmon, Laurel Metzke, Natasha Aravello, Andrew Shadle, Grace Chandler, Emily Pope, Lauren Bingham, Mitchell Smith, Oni Sliman, Emma Whaley, Ryan Thompson. As the Bible teachers, we're always hoping that our students would be growing in their Christian character. The following Christian character awards have been voted upon by the students, and it is our privilege to hand them out today. Encourager, one who builds others up in a way that renews hope in God. For seventh grade, our encouragers are Natasha Aravalo and Andrew Shadle.
For the eighth grade, it's Natalie Embry and Riley Lillard. Humility, recognizing and acknowledging total dependence upon the Lord and seeking his will for every decision. It is the opposite of pride. For seventh grade, the Humility Awards go to Grace Chandler and Emily Pope. Well, the eighth grade, Alexandra Liberis and Austin Martinez. The next Christian Character Award is for integrity, doing what is right when there is no one around to see but God. It is honesty in all parts of a person's life. For seventh grade, the Integrity Awards go to Mitchell Smith and Ani Sliman. Thank you. For eighth grade, it is Connor Exposito and Emma Whaley. Upstander, one who stands up against what is wrong by protecting those who are being wronged. For seventh grade, the upstanders are Emmeline Crumley and Sarah Sine. For eighth grade, Hannah Harmon, Laurel Nemeski. The next Christian Character Award is for leadership. This is setting a godly example worthy of following. Our seventh grade leaders are Lauren Bingham and Mitchell Smith. For eighth grade, Ryan Thompson, Kaylee Lucan. Those Christian Character Awards were voted upon by the students, so that makes it all the more significant. We are almost at the finish line. For this, for this last one, when I call out your name, would you please come and stand on the floor in front of the stage? The following students, Natalie Mitre, Faith Carpenter, Lauren Bingham, Sydney Lawley, Sarah Sine, Sophie Dryden, Maddie Bingham, Rachel Cameron, Orny Sliman, Eva Bickle, Andrea Vagesi, Sarah Ann Lee, Natasha Aravello, Katie Pfizer, Lauren Fraley, Olivia Taylor, Ali Rutenis, Avery Ellis, Emmeline Crumley, Caroline Kellum, Sammy Silly, Alex Clark, Nathan Norris, Andrew Shadel, Alex Cortese, Jonah Petty, Jackson Todd, Mitchell Smith, Peter Cooper, Zach Stilwell, Max Sanderlin, Hunter Johnson, Josiah Gill, Preston Cook, Sam Clemens, Chase Brown, Austin Cones. Keep going all the way across. All the way across. Girls, keep moving. Wow, what a bunch. Next year, we are journeying into uncharted territory. J15 will come to life when we return to school with seventh and eighth grade students le leading fifth and sixth grade students in small groups. J15 is our way of developing leaders who are following Jesus and giving them a place where they can help younger students follow Jesus. The seventh and eighth grade leaders will have the responsibility of teaching and modeling what it looks like to follow Christ. The students standing in front of you have completed the application and interview process. 
They understand the high expectations we have set for them and they desire to help others follow Jesus. I am very excited not only at the number of students who wanted to get involved but also the caliber and quality of the students. I know that they are going to do a great job. I wanted to recognize them here today in front of you and I would like us to pray for them. Let's bow our heads, let's pray. Father, we thank you that you uh, left a model for us. Um, Jesus, as we follow in your footsteps, you give us your spirit uh, as we follow you and we help lead others to you. God, these seventh grade students have uh, put their hand up and they said, I not only want to follow you, I want to help others follow you. So I pray for each one of them as they lead their small groups next year. Um, each one of them in small groups with uh, sixth grade students. God, I pray that you would be preparing all of these leaders' hearts, and I pray that you'd be preparing the hearts of the students that they are leading. God, I thank you for them. I thank you for your Holy Spirit, which comes to us and guides us and strengthens us, and gives us courage to speak, and gives us power to follow in your footsteps. Um, I pray for these students. God, and in closing, we also want to give thanks for today and uh, for what this day represents. We, we are thankful for this year and how you've been completely faithful to us in every way. We praise you for who you are, all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you promised to do. We give you the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. A round of applause for our J15 leaders. You guys may be seated. This concludes our 7th and 8th grade awards, Chapel parents. I appreciate you being here. Your children appreciate you being here. Um, I know that uh, it's time out of your day that uh, you've got other things you need to be doing, but we appreciate you taking the time to be here and honor the students. So parents, uh, you may be the first ones to leave. However, we do have some backdrops over here to my left uh, that you may get a, uh, a picture with your student and their awards. Um, seventh and eighth grade students, if you could just sit where you are momentarily, we're going to get the chair racks out. And for eighth grade, we're going to stack the chairs one last time. Eighth gra uh, seventh grade, we'll stack the chairs, but we'll get to do it again next year as well. So, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you.